I am here today with Art Thomas's father, Douglas Thomas. Thank you for being here. I appreciate you having us, Samantha. Thank of you. Of course, of course. I have a few questions for sure. you. Sure. Great. Can you tell me um, what it's been like having a son with ataxia? It's been a struggle at times. Um, when Art was diagnosed with the ataxia, um, how I kind of explained it to everybody it was like having a 35-year-old, three-year-old. So basically, I took care of him. I'm his dad. So, um, and it's just being a parent, I guess. <clears throat> basically, fed him, bathed him, took care of his personal needs. And it's been a little bit of a struggle, but we manage between the two of us. And we work very good together. So uh, that's my son. I'll do whatever it takes. Can you tell me about some of the improvements that you've noticed in art after his first treatment? Okay. Yeah, that was, um, we went to Cancun to the R3 um, stem cell center there. Um, long story short is after the stem cell tr transplant, the very first one in Cancun, um, it was, in my opinion, probably I noticed it right away. And you have to understand one thing is, Samantha, I'm very close to art. So. It's okay. After the first stem cell transplant, um, we were sitting at the breakfast table the next morning because he went up to the room as soon as the stem cell transplant, we went back to the hotel. Um, the next morning, there was a difference. Sitting at the breakfast table, he started talking to me. Which is major improvement. He hadn't spoken in a long time. I understand why that would be emotional. So as he's talking to me, I'm sitting there. Sitting. It's a huge improvement from not communicating to where he's starting to talk and I'm sitting there, this is, it can't be, not this quick. And I go get his food because he's asking me what kind of food he wanted and mm -hmm. I'm just like, taken back it, it was just like wow and I didn't say a word to him I said no this is something I'm reading into this mm -hmm. so I went and got the food and we were sitting there and starting to have a conversation and so he was asking for more to eat and I said okay I'll go back and get you more to eat because back then he couldn't even carry his own food so um we got up from the breakfast table and I was helping him, you know, get ready because we were going to go to the pyramids there in Mexico. And long story short, we go on this adventure and um, I am helping him walk up the steps, you know, which is normal. That's what I always did. Mm -hmm. And uh, by the end of the day, literally, I kind of separated myself you know, because I wanted to look at the vendors and I wanted to, you know, so we kind of got separated. And I noticed that he was walking on his own with ease. Wow. So I'm saying that still this is not really happening. So from the time that he had the stem cells, you're looking at a person that was in a wheelchair, could not take care of himself, after the stem cells, and also with the help of Danny Wall, the personal trainer that I um, hired, um, between those two, you're looking at him today. Um, and that was just after the first treatment. And this is after the first treatment. Mm -hmm. So it's been a, for the last over two years, it's longer than two years, it's been a struggle. Um, but he has made drastic improvements on his um, outcome with the stem cells mm -hmm. and having the personal trainer work with them. Yeah, I know there's no 
per se cure for ataxia, no, but not you know, as, no. if somebody I, said they could help, wouldn't you want to? You yes, know? and now I'll kind of tell you a little bit of a uh, story. You know, Art keeps sending me YouTube videos and stuff, and when he started talking to me and Danny started talking to me about doing the um, stem cell, I'll be honest with you, I was scared to death. I said, you know, um, if we, um, this is, we're taking a chance here and I don't want to hurt you in any way, shape, form. That's the reason why. It's a little emotional. Totally the opposite. Um, we took that chance and like I say, just look at the outcome of taking that chance. Mm -hmm. So long story short, I do recommend it um, without a doubt. It's changed his life from what it was. And I guess the biggest thing is, as a father, you want your child to be productive in society and be able to take care of himself. So this has been a huge step in getting that accomplished. Right. So what would you say some of your hopes are for art after this second treatment? Okay, well, with the improvement from the first treatment, I can only wait to see what the second part of this treatment that we just had done today. So right. I'm excited about it. Um, like I say, the first treatment, I was scared to death. I said, I don't know about this. And um, I was getting ready to say this, that Art sent me a YouTube video of Mel Gibson okay. with his father. Mm -hmm. And believe it or not, that's what sold me on the idea, believe it or not, of what Mel Gibson, I think he was with Joe Reagan when they did this Reagan. interview. Mm -hmm. I'm doing this all from memory, and I said, well, what do we got to lose? Let's try it. So that's kind of my thought on it. We tried it, and sure enough, it works. It, it works. works without a doubt. It definitely works. Um, I just wish that it was um, easier to obtain that, thank you, um, this treatment in the U.S. It's a sad that we have to do what we have to do to get this type of uh, treatments and to see if it works. Right. So, um, but really and truly, it's been an emotional ride. Oh, I'm sure. I can, I can see yeah. that. And, you know, I'm sure for any father, mother, parent, it's going to be emotional seeing it, your it child. Is. It is. Yeah. So, um, we're just going to hope for the best. And like I say, getting back to this second treatment, let's just be one step further. Let's get it back into our society. Let's get it back into life and see what happens. I completely agree. Yeah. I completely agree. Thank you so much for being here for Art oh, Today and I'm, answering some of my questions. Yeah. This is going to help so many people suffering from ataxia. Yes, um, I agree. Anything to you know help his colleagues that are dealing with this ataxia. Um, let's hope that this brings light to them. Um, I can really, from the bottom of my heart, I appreciate what you're doing and your staff, your uh, photography crew. I deeply appreciate you taking the time to do this for us. Of course. You know, so We're happy to. Thank you to. so much from my heart. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Okay.